What's up, YouTube? It's the bounty agent. <clears throat> so, I'm off today. Figured I'd do a video. Uh, might be off a lot. Because Biden thinking about shutting us down. So, yeah. Don't even want to talk about that. So, we're going right into what I want to talk about. My black aces, shorty. My Black Aces semi-auto 12 gauge shotgun. I ain't gonna lie. I love it. Short, sexy, black. Like me. Anyway. One of my favorites. The crazy part is I ain't even get to shoot it yet. Maybe I'll go order some beanbag rounds. Take it on a bounty. You know, take and do that real quick before Biden shut us down. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Biden. I keep bringing it up. Anyway, I figured I'd do a video since I, I might have a lot of time on my hands. So, I figured I'd go ahead and do a video. I guess about the little collection I have. I don't have a lot. I don't have as many as everybody else or, you know, a lot of crazy stuff that's out there. I just have like, you know, little things I like. So, we're going to start right here with Big Sexy, a.k.a. Cello. I call it Cello because I used to know this stripper. Her stripper name was 12 Gauge. A real name. You get it? Her name was Cello. So, <laughs> this is Cello. Short and sexy. Just like Jello. <laughs> anyway, this is a 12 gauge semi auto. Oh, yeah. It's empty. Forgot to throw that out there for y'all. Yeah, it's empty. Yep. I do like this a lot. I love the way it looks. Like, I really like the way it looks. I don't even want to put nothing on it or customize it. I really enjoy the way it looks already. So, yeah, definitely. Wish I could EDC this motherfucker. Be walking down the street like, no, mm. no. Nah. Nah, this is. I love this though. Ricky. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it wasn't funny. But anyway, my boys in the hood people will get it. But yeah, Black Aces, y'all did y'all thing with this. It's called Black Ace Tactical. Black Aces Tactical. Y'all did y'all thing with this right here. I like this. This is sweet. Nice. But yeah, this is one of the guns in my collection. That I'm in love with. I'm in love with all my guns. Oh no, not true. There's a couple I don't like. But this is one of my favorites. And I ain't even get to shoot it yet. And I like this one. Uh, What else? From the collection. Let's see. Let's go with. Uh, oh, if y'all. I'm wearing my double holster. I'll explain that later. But. Let me do the. The check for y'all. Because as you can see, nothing. It's empty. This is my XD Springfield, my Springfield XD40. I got this a little after I got my high point. But you remember I used to love my high point, so I never really carried it. But then I carried it a couple times. And yeah, a lot lighter. Everything about it was nicer. Everything about this was way nicer than the high point. It's lighter. It didn't have, you know, that thick grip on it. But I like the thick grip on my high point. I ain't gonna lie. But this was a lot lighter. That's the one thing I liked about this. It was a lot lighter. And everybody know I'm not a Glock fan. I chose this over the Glock. 
the ergonomics of holding it is way better than when I held the Glock. Like, I like this way better. XD Springfield. 40. I call it Frank Castle. I call this Frank Castle because everybody will get the reference, you see. See the reference? I don't know if you can see those. But yeah. Frank Castle, the Punisher. Yeah. Anyway, that's why I call this one Frank Castle. Castle. This is my favorite too. This is this is like one of my favorite. Like I, I keep playing with this one right now because I I miss it. Like I really truly miss carrying this. I think I might start carrying it again. Cause I haven't been carrying it for a while. Cause I, I you know, I put the high point to the side and started carrying this. Uh, I've been carrying this. This took the place of Frank Castle. This is the MR920. Let me, yeah, it's loaded. Let me do that for you guys. Here we go. This is the MR920, aka Mr. 920. AKA Mr. 920, AKA John Wick, because it's smooth, yo. It's smooth. If you are a Glock fan, like if you love Glock, you're one of them Glock, Glock people that, oh, Glock is this, Glock is that. This, I guarantee you, if you get one of these, this is what, I know I said it before, but this is what Glock wants to be. This <laughs> this is the gun right here. I'm telling you. I love it. I have a compensator for it. So, because I have a threaded barrel. I have a mag well on it. This all came with this this came with the MR920. I put the I put the uh the red dot on it myself. I like that too. I usually don't rock out with those, but I like this one. Yeah. The MR920 is one of my favorites. It's, it's, I like, I, look, I, I really like, I really like this. Only, only thing that, that I don't like about the MR920 right now is it's a nine millimeter. That's it. Like I like the 40 or the 45. I'm getting used, I'm not going to lie though. I'm getting used to the nine millimeter. I'm starting to like it more. It's been a while since I had a nine millimeter, so. I appreciate this one more. But yeah, this has been my EDC for the last couple months since I got it. I've been carrying this and not Frank Castle. I've been carrying Mr. 920. I've been carrying John Wick for a while. This has been my EDC for a while, even in my car. Uh, the next thing we're going to go with is an oldie but goodie. Oh, not only... Is it good? Like, not only do I like it, like, you know, I could, I got a 33 round mag for it, for Mr. 920, 33 rounds. It's a Glock mag. They take Glock mags. Not only does Mr. 920, oh, and it's light, it's really light. It's lighter than my Glock, it's lighter than my XD, and lighter than the Glocks that I touched. But like I said, it takes Glock mags. That's another thing I liked about it. So I can exchange the Glock mags with my uh, other gun. It even takes, I even have a drum for it, for Mr. 920. I have, I have a drum for John Wick right here. My little drummer boy right there. But yeah, I have, I have the, the solid black for John Wick. I have the see-through favorite color blue, as you can see. I have the see-through blue for John Wick. And I have a little drummer boy for John Wick. Uh, yo. I love the MR920. I can't tell you. 
This is, I'm telling you, if you're a Glock fan, try it out. Just just go to the range and rent it. Just rent it. I'm telling you, this is the gun right here. This is what Glock want to be. And I, I, I'm, I wasn't a 9mm fan. It's starting to change my mind. If that goes to 40 or 45, it's a wrap. Uh, and of course, we're going to go with the my good old fashioned, <laughs> my high point. I still love my high point, but because I've been carrying these other guns that are like so light, like this feels so heavy now. I still love my high point though. I don't care what nobody say. Plus, my high point is, you know, it's my go-to custom thing. Like I can customize my high point because it's a high point. You can do whatever you want to it. It's a high point. Do whatever you want to do to it. Uh, it's empty. There's nothing in it. It's not even a mag in it. But <laughs> as y'all can see, it's gold. And I got the, the fake wood grips. It's still plastic, but it looks like wood grips. But yeah. My own custom mag release. And then uh, the mags. <laughs> I even did the mags in gold and put the Punisher sign on it. My high point is my high point. Period. That's what it looks like with the mag in it. I'm not going to cock it because the mag has rounds in it. But that's what <laughs> Don't ask me. I just, I liked it. So I did it. <laughs> the mags have rounds in it. There's nothing in it. Just letting you know. And I had an extended, as you can see, I had an extended mag for the, uh, For the oh wait, yeah, I had an extended mag for for Mister Nine Twenty. I forgot to. I got an extended mag for for Frank Castle too. Forgot to show y'all that. So I have extended mag for Frank Castle. I have extended mag for Frank Castle. I have extended mag for John Wick. So it's only right that I get extended mag for my high point. <laughs> How ridiculous is that, yo? <laughs> oh, and I put a I put a skull on the bottom of that too. <laughs> All right, that's part of my collection too. <laughs> I didn't name the high point yet. I don't know what I want to name it. No, I'm not calling it a piece of shit. I heard that, assholes. It's still empty. Uh, what else? What else we got over here? Oh, okay, so now we can talk about the twin holster. I call these two. These are my, uh, this is a, a G2C, 9mm. And this is a, a Taurus Millennium 45. These are what I call, I call them South Philly. I'm born and raised in South Philadelphia. So, my zip code in South Philly is 19145. Get it? 19145 is the zip code. I carry 19. 
and one four five. South Philly, get it? This was South Philly. I used to rock, you know, rock them in the twin holster. One nine, carry one nine and one four five. So let me um go ahead and this one is empty. There's nothing in the mag because I'm not. I don't really carry this. This will be a backup. Or in an ankle, in an ankle holster, which I had an ankle holster. I don't know where I put it, so that was the reason why I stopped carrying it. Uh, the forty-five has rounds in it, because again, I like forty-five better than nine millimeter, and I had a small holster for it. I didn't like it. It only came. Only holster I could get for the Millennium is the nylon, the nylon holsters. That's like these. Which is one of the reasons why it was in here. The one nine and the one four five. Well, this is the nine over here. So I carry one nine and one four five. The South Philadelphia zip code. So if I'm going to carry these, it'll be in this because I don't I don't have um. Like the holsters that I usually carry with the, the push button on it, I like those better. But I can't find I can't find none for the Millennium. So if I'm going to carry the Millennium, I might as well carry the nine and do the whole South Philly thing that I like. So that's how I do that. And uh, that's my collection. This video is getting really long. So oh no, it's not even my collection. Hold up. My AR9. That everybody keep <laughs> everybody keep making mad at me because of the so I have a friend, I'm not gonna say where he works or what he does. He's not a bounty hunter, but he's he's in law enforcement. But anyway, so this Everybody keeps yelling at me. Oh, that's not supposed to be on there. Blah, blah, blah. And then if I'm using it this way, I'll get in trouble. But I don't use it that way. I use it this way. Like a stop. I like it that way. Oh, and it's empty. There's not even a mag in it. There's nothing in it at all. And I think I am going to take that scope off it. I like it. It's, I thought it was cool at the time when I put it on it, but I don't, you know, I think I'm going to go back to a red dot. And I want to get a compensator for it. But I was told by a couple of my law enforcement friends, I can do it this, which is like the slant. Well, I don't really like that one though. Or I can do it that way. As long as I don't do it like this. I'm good. So, that's what I was told. And if push comes to serve and they're like, take it off, I'll just take it off. It's not that serious. But, uh, yeah, I got the Punisher skulls on there. On both sides. Yeah, I like this. This, this takes Glock mags just like just like John Wick. Let's take Glock's mag. Let's take Glock mag so I can throw the 33 round in there. And rock out with the 33 round in on it. Or I can put the drum. Mind you, I got two drums. I got this drum here. Which is a bitch to load. Compared to... Compared to, sorry about that, guys. Compared to this one here, which is, why is it giving me a problem? Oh. Need some oil. This round, this this drum is easier to load, to reload. It's easier to reload.
Yeah, this one is. I think the drums are kind of overrated. But I still got them because I, because I want them. That's the only reason. And, uh, I can do the sticks or I can go even with the little, the little baby homies. I can go with the little homies. Rock out with them. A little 10 rounds. Or I can go with the blue 33. I like the blue 33. It looks better when it got rounds in it. Or I can go with the black 33. Which just looks badass because it's black. That's why. <laughs> anyway, that's my collection for now. So the next time, YouTube, the bounty agent is out. And y'all should go tell Biden to leave us alone so we can keep bounty hunting and keep y'all safe. Seriously. It's getting... If he shuts us down, it's going to get bad. If he shuts bounty hunters down, bell bonds down, it's going to get bad. Oh, and that um that bell reform he's talking about, I'm not a political person. Everybody knows that. I'm not really, I don't care who you vote for. If you're my friend, you're my friend. It don't matter who you vote for. But anyway, that bell reform he's talking about, taxpayers pay for that. When we was doing it, taxpayer wasn't paying for the bounty hunters. Wasn't paying for bell bondsmen. He, whoever did the crime had to pay for that. Or their family had to pay for that. It was not the taxpayers. Bell reform is going to be paid by the taxpayers. It's ankle monitors and all that stuff. It's going to be paid by everybody else. Don't let them shut us down, y'all. Matter of fact, don't let them shut us down. And come over here and get a job and help us shut this. Because it's going to get bad. before. It's going to get bad. If they shut down bell bonds and bounty hunters, it's going to get real bad. I know this video is drawing out. It's getting longer and longer. I'm sorry, man. <sighs> like I said, because of him, I'm going to have more time on my hands. So I'm hoping I can find a bunch of people in PA or wherever that want to go to a gun range once a month. We can meet up and hang out and talk guns and shoot. I'm in. Till the next time, Bounty Agents, the Bounty Agent is out. Love you guys. Peace.